dear students hope all of you doing great so as part of this youtube session we will discuss some gate previous year questions so that you will have awareness like how the questions can be asked so the first question okay with respect to operating system on the screen now this is the question given to you from the synchronization so just have a look if anybody want to solve okay along with me so you can just pause my video and you can read the question so i will just be aside you can pause my video and read the question and you can try to attempt to solve the question okay fine so understand here what is the question saying consider two processes p1 p2 accessing the shared variables x and y protected by the two binary sum of force sx and sy okay respectively both initialized to what one so both the sum of four variables sx and sy both are initialized to what tell me both are initialized to one so it is saying that okay they are binary sum of four variables and both are initialized to one and the p1 p and v denote what so same thing okay binary sum of four okay down and up operations and the pseudo code of the p1 p2 is the given as follows so this is the process p1 code and this is the process p2 code okay just have a look okay if you observe the code here what is the question is asking just to see the last line in order to avoid the deadlock just understand here in order to avoid the deadlock the correct operations are okay understand here l1 l2 l3 and l4 okay respectively in order to avoid the deadlock what should be the correct operations on l1 l2 l3 l4 so that is the question is asking now please understand first of all what is the meaning of deadlock how do you define the deadlock with respect to semaphores okay here with respect to semaphore how you are going to divide the, uh, define the deadlock so please understand the defi definition of the deadlock we can say is two or more processes please understand here two or more processes are in the suspended list and there is no other process to wake up those processes then they are all they are said to be involved in what deadlock okay so i'm repeating two or more processes are in the suspended list now just have a look two or more processes are in the suspended list why any process will go to the suspended list any process why the process will go to the suspended list tell me right by performing unsuccessful down operation why why any process will go to the suspended list by performing unsuccessful down operation so two or more processes are in the suspended list and there is no other process to wake up these processes so then they are said to be involved in the deadlock those processes are said to be involved in the deadlock is that clear right so now just observe, uh, uh, substitute the options uh, observe one by one so if i uh, substitute option a what is the problem in the option a let us try to understand so it is saying down of sy here and down of sx and here it is saying what down of sx and down of sy okay so this is given okay in the option a now the initial values so please observe initial value sx is 1 and sy is 1 okay right so what is the problem in the okay first option a what is the problem in the option a so you need to imagine one important line with respect to semaphore preemption may occur at any point of time after completion of the current statement current instruction so preemption in the sense what context switching is earlier preemption in the sense what context switching right see when you are executing the processes by using the round robin scheduling the time quantum may expire at any time when the time quantum expires the context switching will take place okay process is getting preempted so now by considering that important point let us execute what is the problem with the option a now so let's say i'm starting with the p1 first while true do first you say down of s5 when you say down of s5 so it becomes 1 to 0 successful down operation correct so after saying down of s5 assume that process p1 is getting preempted this idea generally you should get this idea process p1 is getting preempted 
So next you take the process P2, you say while true, down of SX. So SX value becomes 1 to 0, successful down operation. After saying down of SX, okay, successful down operation, the process P2 is also getting preempted. See, remember important line, preemption is just a temporary stop. Preemption is just a temporary stop. The process will come back and continue the remaining execution. Process will come back and continue the remaining execution. So now let us say preemption is just a temporary stop when the process P1 is coming back. Observe what is going to happen. When the P1 is coming back, it is trying to perform okay, down of SX. So SX value is already 0. SX value already 0. And 0 if you perform down operation. So it will be what? Suspended. Okay, if the semaphore value is 0 and you try to perform the down operation. So, it will be what? Uh, suspended. Okay. And next, when you say P2 is coming back and try to perform the second down operation. So, let's say down of SY. SY is already 0. So, on 0, if you perform down operation, so it will be suspended. So, both S1 and S2, both P1 and P2, both are suspended. So, and that leads to what? Deadlock. That leads to deadlock. Is that clear for everyone? Right? So, option A is the wrong answer because option A is having a deadlock. And next, if you go with option B, option B is exactly same. What he has given? See this here, down of SX, down of SY here, and down of SY, and down of SX here. So, he just shifted, okay, these values, okay, to this side, and these values to this side. Is that here? So, same thing you can do, right? The same manner you can do. So, the first you say, first down operation, and here successful, and here you say first down operation successful and take the preemption. When both are coming back, both the process will suspend in the same manner like option A. In the same manner like option A, both the process will get suspended. So, that is the deadlock. Okay, right? So, option B is also wrong answer. Right? Now, if you observe the coming to the option, okay, option C. Option C is the absolutely wrong answer. Okay, because there is no logic in the option C. You just normally execute that. You just normally execute that. So, you will get the deadlock. So, how you execute normally you get deadlock? Because, see just observe. I am substituting the option C here. So, I am just substituting the option C. What is saying option C here? Down of SX. Just observe here. Down of SX here. And again down of SX. So, here is the down of SY. And uh, here is the down of uh, S5. Okay, right. So, now understand here, Sx value is 1 and S5 value is 1. Now, okay, now you can see option C. So, option C, what is happening? Uh, deadlock. How deadlock is coming? In both the places, you are having down of Sx, down of Sx. And here also down of Sx and down, down of S5 and down of S5. So, what happens? The first down operation is so down of Sx. It becomes 1 to 0. Successful down operation and again you say down of SX. So, SX is already 0. SX is already 0 and 0 if you perform down operation, it will be suspended. And here you say down of SY, so it becomes 1 to 0. And again you say down of SY, obviously it will suspend because semaphore value is already 0. And 0 if you perform down operation, so that will be suspended. So, both okay, P1 and P2 both are suspended. And that leads to what? Deadlock. That leads to what? Deadlock. Is that clear? So, option C is also what? Wrong answer. Okay, right. So, the next, the right answer is, okay, understand here, the right answer is, okay, understand, option D. Okay. So, option D is the right answer. So, how D is the right answer? Let us try to understand. I am going to substitute option D. What is happening? So, you can just make a proper observation and you can say why D is the right answer. In the option D, both the processes never suspend. Let's say you are having a down of SX, SY here, down of SX and SY here. In the option D, both the processes will never suspend. Both the processes will never suspend. So, one process will definitely continue the execution. One process will definitely continue the execution. So, both the process getting suspended, okay, in the option D, that is not possible. So, one process will definitely continue the execution. So, how? Let us try to understand. So, let us take the same thing here, okay, SX value 1 and SY value 1. So, you start with any process. So, you start with the P1 first. 
you say down of s x so c this here s x value becomes 1 to 0 after saying down of s x assume p 1 is getting preempted because preemption here also possible right uh, now if i execute the p 2 here what happens okay while true down of s x see now the s x value is what 0 please understand carefully understand here you say down of s x so s x value 0 on 0 if you perform down operation here p 2 is suspended now remember here p2 is suspended p2 will go into the suspended list okay because on zero if you perform down operation it will go to the suspended list and next now here p1 is preempted remember carefully p1 is preempted here and p2 is suspended here the process which is the preempted the process which is preempted it will come back by its own and continue the further execution but remember the process which is in the suspended list some other process should perform the up operation and wake up this process then only the p2 will continue further execution right that concept you should know okay right please understand that so next now let us say when the p1 is coming back now tell me now when the p1 is preempted p1 is coming back p1 will also suspend or p1 will continue the execution now tell me P1 will suspend or continue the execution. Na? Continue the execution. Na? Please understand. Na? So, because when you say down of S5, SY value is a 1 here. So, it will say 1 to 0. Successful down operation. Na? So, now the P1 will continue the execution. So, you are doing X equal to X plus 1. So, these lines are not having any significance. Uh, now, you will say up of SX. Na? Now, what happens here? When you say up of SX, na? the binary sum of four up operation code. If you remember binary sum of four up operation code, first you check uh, suspended list is empty. If the suspended list is empty, then you make sum of four value one. Otherwise, uh, you select a process from the suspended list and uh, wake up. You select a process from suspended list and uh, wake up. So here uh, P2 is already in the suspended list. Uh, okay, you simply wake up the process P2. Okay, right? Uh, process P2 will wake up. Uh, okay, right? Uh, and next, uh, when the process P2 will wake up. Uh, it will execute from which statement? It will execute from the next statement. So, here it is suspended. When the P2 is again scheduled on to the okay, CPU, P2 will execute from the next statement. Okay, So, it will not execute down of SX once again. Uh, now, now continue. Here, P1 is doing what? Up of SX. Okay, when you say up of SX, it is wake up the P2 because so I am writing here SX okay, suspended list. Okay, who was who is there in the SX suspended list? Okay, P2 was there. When you say up of SX, so here P2 will wake up from the suspended list and it will go to the ready state. Okay, next. Uh, now you will say, right, uh, up of S5. When you say up of S5, okay, S5 suspended list is empty. Now the S5 value becomes 1. So now P1 completed the total execution. Uh, when the P2 is again scheduled, it will execute from this statement, uh, this statement. So P2 will say down of S5. So now it becomes 1 to 0 successful down operation and you are executing this and next you say up of SY when you say up of SY now SY value becomes 1 now when you say up of SX so SX value becomes 1 so it means what in the option D in the option D both the processes will never suspend in the option D both the processes will never suspend please understand here one by one they will continue the execution one by one they will continue the execution both the process will never suspend okay so there is no deadlock in the option d okay so hence so we'll make a conclusion that the right answer for the given question is what d d is the right answer